Hey, what's up? It's Kayla and Andrew, who is currently Hello, I'm in the bathroom. Slathering, in the bathroom. slathering sunscreen on. We burnt really bad yesterday on our catamaran tour, but uh, we are going grocery shopping. And contrary to popular belief, what Andrew and I believed up until yesterday is that we are leaving on Saturday. Nope. Not oh, the we, case. We thought we were leaving on Saturday. We thought we were leaving on Saturday. It's not the case. We're leaving the following Saturday. So we actually have two more weeks here. And we, we did not budget appropriately. We also have nothing to eat. So we're heading to the grocery store with that in mind that we need to shop now for two weeks worth of food instead of just one week. So or at least one week with the expectation of them going another week. So we'll see. We also like have a very small fridge, as mm -hmm. you can see, Kayla. Fridge time. Yeah. Very small fridge. Right. So we are limited. So we are limited in space. There's a decent sized freezer, so unless we want to get freezer foods. Freezer foods, I don't know. But we don't we only have a microwave and a stove top. And the stove top cooks at one temperature, which is hot. High. All the hot time. all the time. Anyways, that's what we're gonna go do. Let's do uh, let's it. It was about eighty-four dollars U.S. You thought it was a hundred. I thought it was gonna be one fifty. I think the most expensive item was ground beef. Yeah, pretty good. Potatoes Tetris are fine. Master Martel. Yeah. Bacon freezer. So you're still finishing the other. Bacon. Yeah, put it put in the freezer. That's fine. we did a tour of a coffee farm and one of the things that we learned is that you can actually rent a tree they'll put a sign in front of it saying this is your tree and they will um, send you updates on it but you can also go online at any time and watch any of these cameras and find which camera your tree is on and all that kind of stuff as soon as we heard about that we were like well let's figure out how much it is so it was 125 US 150 US 150 US yeah and it was about 200 Canadian after it converted. Basically, they let us pick if we wanted one in the shade or in the sun. And they said the sun is going to be higher yielding, yeah, but the views. shade is going to be better quality. Correct. So we went with shade. Yeah. Basically, whenever there is batches of coffee done from our specific tree, they will send it to us, which is kind of cool. Either way, we get a sign. We decided to go with Away We Go as our sign name. So yeah, these are the four options they gave us. They said like, obviously we can swap colors and text. So I think what I want to know first, Kayla, is which font do you like? Do I like you... the blue and the yellow all together. Okay. What do you like? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think the orange is too fancy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're gonna get back to making our sign, but as soon as we have it, the final proof will show you what it looks like. So. I have a big presentation for work tomorrow, and when Kayla and I packed our bags for clothes, I brought one uh, long sleeve dress shirt that's a little patterned, so it's not the most professional, but I have a pretty important presentation, and they were like, dress shirts, everyone. So I went out and bought myself a dress shirt, a white dress shirt. Uh, the issue is, uh, if anyone's ever bought in a dress shirt or probably even a blouse, they usually come pre-folded and have been so since conception and therefore they are wrinkled to all hell. We were fortunate that the place that we were staying in has an iron but does not have an ironing board. So just want to give this pro tip because I learned this from my dad and this is a helpful one. First off find a flat surface could be countertop could be a table in this case I'm using a little bit of a table but the main tip is don't do it directly on the table. What happens is if there's any stains or if there's any markings that you don't always notice on a table, the heat from the iron onto the shirt, onto the table could lift those stains and could cause them to get on your shirt. So what I've done is I put a white towel uh, on top of it. Um, I've double checked the towel. There's no stains on it. It's something that we recently washed, so I feel pretty confident in it. Um, I will also be using the iron, which is now warming up, directly on the towel first to make sure that the iron itself does not spread dirt. I don't want to buy a new shirt and then immediately just wipe it with dirt. So just a pro tip, if you are traveling 
Oh, you're in. Oh, you're in. Oh, you're in. <laughs> Before I take a shower, I like to iron out my towels so that they are just as straight as I am. <laughs> ironing with Andrew. It's just as easy as ironing with anyone else in a more convenient location. We'll work on the theme song tomorrow. set up with some friends of ours so I was trying to figure out what my account is linked to for an email. Most of our travels between like Kayla and I, uh, she would book it and then I would be added on as like going. So like I only have two reviews and all my trips are like Toronto 2017, Winnipeg 2020. That's not the important part. The important part is at some point I created this Airbnb account and also wrote a I think you have to write like a small description about your stuff, yourself so that people can read it. And I've just found it. So this is Andrew, lives in Fredericton, Canada. Canadian traveler, period. Consultant who enjoys being on the beach rather than on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. But I was like, is this a dating profile? Like what is, <laughs> what is this? But anyway, I don't know when I wrote that. It would have been sometime either 2017 or 2020. So what are you going to write now? Nothing. I'm going to keep it as gold. <laughs> Not changing that. Okay. our last week here in Panama, Panama City as well. Uh, we want to take you with us on our last weekend as we kind of explore a little bit more of Panama. We're going to be uh, checking out a little bit more of Casco Viejo, uh, Amador Causeway, finally hitting up that uh, Panamanian restaurant that Carlina, our flight attendant from Copa at the start of the trip, recommended. We're finally going to go check that out. So come along with us as we check out the views, the sights, the sounds of Panama City. the metro and uh, we are uh, just checking out a whole new part that we haven't been to yet of Panama City uh, we're checking out some of the potential bars that we might go to tonight uh, so we wanted to see where they were just to get an idea of where we might be going and then we came across this lovely park across the way uh, and we're just gonna go check it out but it uh, looks like there's some stuff going on um, I believe it's also the last week before school starts back up so there's a lot of like events for families and stuff like that. Cause I got high hopes Do you want the same? Cause baby all I got is high hopes Do you feel the same? Do you want me back? Or is it just a game? Cause I got high hopes taking Kayla back to Casco Viejo. Uh, we were there on our first few days, but uh, we've got time today. And we're gonna go to Enkai. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it is a Japanese Peruvian fusion kind of restaurant. Our first Airbnb heavily recommended it, and uh, we're gonna go check it out. Cause I got high hopes, do you want the same? Cause baby, all I got 
in Casco Viejo so we thought hey let's go get a drink and you know there's a bunch of places to pick from it's a little harder to choose exactly which one so we wanted a, a good um, rooftop bar uh, so we found this one called Cielo um, and we were like oh how high up is it I guess it's the 37th floor so yeah that's them's the views and it's a uh, full 360. It's also a good find. <laughs> we were just way up there. That is Seattle, which is the rooftop bar. Uh, it's also where Burger Post Office is, which is a, the restaurant on the rooftop. Uh, it had just opened as we were leaving, but we didn't want to stay because we're not getting food. But now we're going to another rooftop bar uh, that is just across the street from it, uh, or at least down the street from it, called the Old Town Lighthouse. It's just that building right behind me. This is the, this is supposedly great Panamanian food. So I'm very excited about this. We have an Uber on the way, so stay tuned. chat last night after we got back from Sabroso. So we figured we'd just give you a little bit of roundup of what we thought. So we went to Sabroso last night. We had reservations at seven. There was some live entertainment and I mm. wish that I had known what time that was going to be at because I probably would have changed the time of our reservation. I probably would have tried to go for a little later. It started at 8 p.m. and we made our reservation for seven. Just as a note, when we had gone, there was uh, entertainment on the Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know what they do for weekdays, mm -hmm. but they had posters for like just like live entertainment Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I'm sure they have it probably like on their socials or something like that. But yeah. when I was on the reservation booking site, I couldn't see that, which 
was kind of a surprise to us once we got there, but that's so, okay. So the restaurant itself is like super nice, super fun, uh, very colorful, very themed. very themed, so very Panamanian. Mm -hmm. The wait staff were all kind of dressed accordingly, mm -hmm. and then uh, for us, that entertainment was like dancers who were doing mm -hmm. like um, traditional traditional dances. dances. So they were all dressed up. The food itself was great, amazing. Yeah, um, I myself got a kind. Of, they, I think they called it a stew or yeah, something. Yeah, you got the seafood stew. This, there was no liquid, like it was a big thing of flavored More like rice. like a risotto. Yeah, like a, like a seafood risotto, calamari and shrimp and clams. Called, clams, yeah. So, and then a big old prawn and then some other, and then uh, battered fish. It was mm -hmm. worth it. They had like a recommended list of things. Very filling, but great. Yeah, and I ended up going with two things off of the appetizers menu. I ended up going with the fish bites with a side of patacones. Basically they take plantains and they smash them into like a big round patty. And then I also got big? smoked pork mm. on the holjadres, which is basically the Panamanian fry bread that we've seen in like breakfast and stuff, but it was like the pork on the bread and it was so good. Yeah. Absolutely worth it for sure. I didn't finish at all. Uh, so we have leftovers for today. Hooray. They were good sized portions. Like I, were, I finished yeah. mine and Kale's like, do you want any more? And I was like, no. It was worth it. Definitely a good experience. There's a lot of mm -hmm. Panamanians there too. They did like mm -hmm. kind of like a survey of the room and there's a lot of locals. Yeah. Going. They had a table for us inside. They, the reserved sign yep. was on a table inside and we said, let's sit on the patio. And I kind of regret sitting on the patio after seeing the show and stuff i feel like we did get to see the show from outside the dancers even came out into the patio so that you can see them more closely and things like that you feel it. incorporated yeah. but it felt like inside they were having way more fun yeah. than we were out on the patio which is kind of like chum we're just kind of watching last thing i wanted to quickly note because this has happened twice to us now uh, and both times it's been at the amador causeway or just being on the amador causeway it's very very hard to get an uber out there be cautious if you are mm -hmm. uber dependent as we are uh that mm -hmm. it may take you a lot longer you may have to resort to taking a taxi just to get off mm -hmm. the causeway so but overall we really enjoyed it and thank you carlina for that suggestion yeah. i don't know if we have said it yet but we're actually leaving on the saturday coming up mm -hmm. we are going to our next destination and that is peru so if you have any recommendations for Peru, please send them our way. We would love to know what you think. Yeah, we're going to be doing Lima for the start and finish and then about Cusco. A, and then a week in the middle at Cusco. So I think in total we're looking at a little over 3 weeks. We're super excited, but yeah. it's weird to think that we're in the last week and we're while we're trying to like enjoy the last little bit of Panama, we're also like okay let's start thinking about peru and let's yeah. make sure all of our stuff's in a row and not to mention you have work so mm -hmm. you should get to work but Eww. we'll see you when we leave to the airport on saturday ciao bye in the Bogota airport. We just made it through our first flight. We then had to make our way through security again, but fortunately we didn't have to do luggages. We didn't have to do anything like that. And we beat the rush too. Now we have about an hour to hit the washrooms to grab some food. And uh, our gate's like 10 minutes away from where we currently are. So yeah. We'll be landing in Lima until midnight. This is our last chance to get food until tomorrow. It is almost midnight and we are now on our way. Oh, Kayla's is on the fast walking, so I gotta keep up. Uh, we are on our way to, I guess, get the bags and then do immigration. So that's what's up. Keep you ghosted. Almost there. <laughs> It's 
So we have just checked in. We are on the top floor. So we're on our way to our room for the night. We got a late checkout, so that's exciting. So we'll be uh, enjoying the pool and the gym here tomorrow.